Okay, I've got a 2013 Ford Escape, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to check the transmission fluid here. It's probably the same from a 13 to a 16, maybe even up. It's got the 6F35 transmission. It's the same transmission that um, all of these, whether it's the 2.0, 1.6, um, and so forth. So, first of all, um, drove this around for maybe 10 minutes, just normal driving. 10, 15 minutes is going to get you there. And I'll uh, show you what temperature we're looking for. So, you want to check it with it uh, 175 to 190. Mine's in Celsius, so I'm looking for about 80, around 88 in the Celsius range there. And uh, we're going to check it with the vehicle running. And I'll show you how we're going to get to it here. Okay, so I've just got this hooked up here, and you can uh, tell we got it at 84. Degrees. Hold on. Okay, so we got it actually at 85 right now, which is within the range. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get this wheel off over here. And you notice that I've got my fender liner out, and uh, that's just going to make it easier to see in here. But you don't need to necessarily remove that. Okay, so we got the rear wheel chalked. Now we need to get this thing level. So when I take the wheel off, so I'm just going to get a reference, and I've got this off on the other side, so I'm just going to measure up. To this point here and get some kind of a measurement like around 16 and a half or so okay so this got the jack under here and so I'm going to keep it position we're just going to go ahead and get the wheel off get these broke loose first Okay, now I'm going to have to slowly lower this down until I can get my measurement right up here the same as the other side. Give it a check. Probably not close. And no. All right, so I went and double checked my measurement to my reference point. It actually changed a little bit, but we've got it pretty close. We're gonna put us some blocks in here for safety. Okay, so you see where we're going right in there to the left of that CV axle. I'm gonna put a little pan under here. All right, so let me get you in here. Now you could have a different plug. This is a going to be a five millimeter hex allen so we're going to be using this five and we're going to get a little bit of an extension and you want to have some gloves because this is going to be warm so i'm going to be using this two foot extension with the swivel on the end there And don't touch the transmission because it will be warm. Okay, and before we take that loose, I want to show you where the fill is located up here. We're just going to take, lift that cap up and off there. Just pulls right up and off there. And we're going to get our funnel right in there. So if you come right beside your air box and just look right straight down there right and we'll just um, add a little bit of this if we need to okay so like I said get you some gloves this will be hot And I'm going to try to get up here and get it before it falls. And we'll see what we got here. Okay, so we see we got it trickling out there a little bit. 
Okay, now I went up top and I poured just a little bit in there. Now look, you can see it's trickling a lot faster. So basically, you want it where it's just um, trickling out of that hole. If you've got it pouring out of there, then you've got too much. So once it's trickling it out, you know you got the right amount. So like I said, you can verify by just pouring a little bit in, and I mean just a little bit. And it shouldn't take much. And you should see it start to trickle out. Now this little Allen has a O-ring, so you don't have to worry about it leaking. And it doesn't have to be just terribly tight. It's just a little bitty bolt. Like I said, you could have a different one. I've seen them with the bigger ones. I'm just going to snug this up with my little 3-8. That right there should be plenty good. Okay, so just that easy, and all we got to do now is just get our wheel back on here. Okay, so that's going to do it on checking this transmission fluid. And like I said, even if you're just doing a drain fill, you can't assume that the right amount was in there to start with. So always a good idea to check this. You don't want to overfill it or underfill it. So that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.